Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5 as the Olmec. So, after debating autocracy versus order a lot, I decided to pick up order. For a few different reasons. The 25% production bonus when constructing buildings will help a lot of our cities. And we'll also get granted uranium later. And quite a few other things. So, we are picking up order. And we'll get two tenants immediately. One of them will definitely be the building bonus. And then we can take one more. We could get Monument to the Party, which is pretty nice. Especially with all the extra national wonders that we can build. And our happiness right now is not very high. The other option is Rural Resettlement. Plus one science from farms. I don't think science is really a problem for us right now, so... I'm strongly leaning towards Monument to the Party. We can still benefit from Great Leap Forward. Because we are still building some factories. How many cities have factories already? Let's see, that's one. This one doesn't have a factory. Right, that's our capital. Maybe we should buy a factory in here. That's actually worth considering if we want to build more wonders. And there are quite a few more available. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to buy a factory here. To speed up wonder construction. Okay. So, next. Okay, we do have quite a few already. That's probably not worth it then. We'll pick up Monument to the Party. To get extra happiness. Yep, sounds good to me. That's also extra culture. Here we go. Okay then. Now, there are a lot of national wonders that we still need to build, but that won't take very long. In fact, we are working on one of them right now, the Grand Shrine. So that's plus two happiness. As for our great spy, let's still scout around a little bit. And that's it, I think. Yep. Anything else? Oh yeah, our caravel. We'll just explore some more. Spain wants to buy our luxury. Well, I don't think anyone else is going to buy it, so we might as well sell. Five gold per turn is not a bad deal. And Napoleon still wants horses. Yeah, fine by me. You can have the horses, I don't mind. He is actually friendly, but I don't trust him too much. Not really. Can we sell anything else? He still wants to buy horses. Okay. Wait, does he? Yes, he does. What about Aaron? Okay, how much is he going to pay us? Can we get more than one for one? And uh, no. That's a good enough deal, though. Let's sell four more horses. Here, that will do. I don't want to sell too many because I will still be recruiting more units. So, we still have 1500 gold. I might use that to jumpstart our newest city a little bit. We could buy a windmill, which is very tempting. That would speed up all the building construction. Yeah, actually, let's buy a windmill in here. That will speed up everything else. Definitely a good idea. And we can keep a water mill after the temple and then a granary. Sounds good. Lock the salt. Here we go. Okay, next. We still need one more trade route. We could actually use an internal trade route. To maybe speed up the city's growth. That's a possibility. Yeah, where can we get a quick caravan? Oh yeah, we are about to get a cargo ship here. So should we use one internal trade route? Possibly. Not from here, apparently. Let's go from La Venta then. Anything else happening? One of our deals ended. I don't think... We can get any kind of decent deal from him. We can still get gold per turn, I suppose. Will he give us full 7? No. 5? 
He won't even give us five. I mean, I can't really blame him, I suppose. Yeah, three gold per turn. Does Spain have more gold? Yeah. Yep. Let's get a deal from Spain. Five gold per turn. We can also get an embassy. Alright, let's sell the luxuries. We can get the gold. I'm surprised Spain has that much gold per turn, considering they have, what, one city? Unless they somehow got more. No, they have one city, literally. That's it. Just Madrid. Nothing else. Having said that, it does have 18 population. But in the end, it's only one city. Korea also wants silk. Six gold. Yeah, five gold is good. We should still conquer Korea, I think. Oh, and we finally got the world's fair. About time. So, let's get our free policy, shall we? We could keep working on rationalism, but I think I'd rather work on order. Or at least get one level two tenant. There are some interesting choices here. We could get plus two aluminum and plus 25% science from hydro plants. That's a pretty strong one. But we don't have that many cities. Well, actually, we do have like for five cities for hydro plants. Might be worth considering. What else can we get here? Birthplace of the revolution? No, we don't need that right now. Extra tourism? No. Plus unhappiness from factories, hydro plants, recycling centers, solar plants and nuclear plants. I think that will be best. I don't want to drop into the negatives. Yep, we'll go for the happiness. Okay then. Also, we still need a musician's guild. We should probably build that at some point. Now, about that internal trade route. Let's send some food. It won't be a whole lot, but it will speed up the city's growth. Here it is. Okay, yep, let's do that. Sounds good to me. Now, how about we use the spy for something? And cargo ship. These trade routes are not exactly amazing. We could send production or food to the city we captured from Korea, or to the one Korea gave to us. I think we should actually do that. Okay, we'll send production. And I still want to annex this. We could actually annex it right now and still be at zero. But quite a few of our cities are growing pretty rapidly. Might be best to work on getting some more happiness first. We don't need National Epic. Let's get National Epic here. That will help the artists. And we can always use artists to extend our Golden Age. We got bonuses that make Golden Age even longer. Yep, sounds good. And that will also be plus two happiness. And I might also get Musician's Guild in here. That will also be worth plus two happiness. Yep. But I'd like to get more population. If we are going to get two guilds in this city specifically. Let's see. You know, we could just straight up set it to food focus instead of microing all of that. 11 turns? Yeah, 11 turns is reasonable. Carry on then. And we'll still get the national epic in 5 turns. Okay, yeah, minus four. Did someone get an ideology? No. Oh, some of our trades expired. That's what happened. Okay, then. We should be able to buy them back, but he will not give us a one-for-one -one deal. Okay, no, he won't give us any kind of decent deal. Bonjour. We can get marble from Napoleon, though. He still wants iron. And horses. And a little bit of gold per turn. Okay, yeah, that's a decent deal, but we need more happiness. Like, right now. Working on it. So. Anything else to repair? This farm is out of our border range. We could buy a few tiles, but they are getting a little bit too expensive for my taste. Just a little bit. 
We could actually maybe get a fort. That is worth considering. Because we will go to war with Napoleon sooner or later. Uh, also, electricity is about to finish. I might send the worker to improve aluminum. Assuming we have some. Yes, we do. Okay, we got two sources. How much total is that? Only six total. Well, that's not a whole lot, but we can get more from one of the order tenants. We can finish that mine later. Let's get started on the aluminum. And you can build that fort. Since the other source is quite far away. All the way over here. Yup. Well, how convenient. We got a spare worker right there. What can we do? Sell secrets. What's that? Oh no, never mind. That's like score. We can't smuggle great work, unfortunately. I don't think we actually have slots for that. We can steal 600 gold and we'll have 50% chance to keep our spy. Let's try that. Do you feel lucky? <laughs> uh, nope, he was captured. Oh well, we got 600 at least. That was probably not worth it, but... Well, it was a dice roll. Anyway... Let's see. We still need quite a few farms in this area. I don't think this one is finished. And another worker. Yeah, let's get some more farms for our city over here, especially since we don't want to grow it. One turn to finish Red Fort. And we could go directly for radio. Can we build Oxford yet? No, we cannot. Our newest city needs a university still. Yep. And Koba needs a university, right. Okay then. Well, let's work on that then, shall we? After the Granary. And what was the other city? Oh yeah, this one. It doesn't even have a library yet, so that will take a little bit of time. We can get the Grand Temple. That's plus six happiness, definitely worth it. And then we can go back to Wonder Building. Or we can build the Grand Temple elsewhere. It doesn't have to be here. House production in other cities. How about this one? Yeah, sure, we can do it in this one. Or can we? Apparently not. Wait, what? Why can we not do that here? I don't even see it on the list. I think it has to be our holy city, right? Okay, well, sure, after the Red Fort. And back to research. Yeah, how about we unlock line infantry, because we know France already has that. And fertilizer. I would definitely like to get fertilizer by now. Sure. No more research agreements, unfortunately. Korea is still doing pretty well in terms of science. There's the Red Fort. It's also plus two intelligence, so that's nice. How many techs does Korea have? 58. And we got 50, so he is still 8 techs ahead of us. I think we should consider just taking his capital. But we'll need some artillery over there. How many cannons do we have? Only two. Well, alright. We can always get more. Okay, farm. Then obviously a mine. And finish that farm. This will be a fort. And we got another writer. Let's call us. Here we go. Anyway, Grand Temple in our capital and then... We can get Porcelain Tower. It will give us a great scientist. Extends the length of We Love the King Day by 50%. Plus on faith from military buildings. Plus 5% great person generation for each great work in the city. That's not bad. Let's get the porcelain tower first. That's a scientist for free, if nothing else. Plus on population, nice. 
four turns to finish the windmill. Oh, and what's this? Naval trade routes originating from this city have a 50% increase in range and provide plus free gold for both parties. That is pretty nice. But 21 turns? That might be a little bit too much. Yeah, let's work on other things in here. Like production and happiness. We will definitely get a harbor though. After the forge. How about the growth? We can still make it grow at a reasonable pace. Like this. 10 turns. That's reasonable. Okay, works for me. How about happiness? Well, we'll get more on the next turn. That will be plus two. Election rigged, nice. Yeah, that's a mercantile city-state, so I would like to get allied with it. Let's just gift it some gold, shall we? There are no quests in here that we can do. So let's give them... 500. That will be enough for now. Oh, Korea just started a city over there. Good for them. So, trade route. That will be gold. Well, if we want to declare war on Korea, maybe we shouldn't be sending trade routes to Korea. We'll send one to Venice. How about we do something with our fate? Let's see, we still need at least one Inquisitor, two Inquisitors. We can get more population in Laventa. So there it is, that's 22. Looks good. How about we maximize production? Something like this. Reset. Just make sure we are working the correct tiles. 83 production. And we will get a great engineer in 21 turns. Yep, good enough. We can get a musketman in 4 turns. We should also probably get a manor. Because that way we'll get faster great person generation. And there's a writer's guild in here too. Yeah, we should definitely get that. But maybe after the porcelain tower? I still want to annex Jonjo, but we will lose 8 happiness when we do that. And I don't want to drop into the negatives. We could save enough gold to just buy a courthouse immediately. Oh great, our spy got killed, really. Well then... It was a max rank spy, though. How many techs does he have right now? 52? He is still two techs ahead of us. Well, alright. We lost a spy, unfortunately. So, anything good in this religion? Not really. Okay, then. More growth. Let's see. How about like this? Nope, it will still grow in seven turns. Let's keep the production then. And queue something up. What would that be? We already have a castle, so there's that. We can get started on the menagerie. We can also build an armory and then... Recruit more units. That's probably a good idea. There's the cannon. Not quite ready to declare war just yet, but we will be doing it. Sooner or later. That will be a mine. Okay, two turns to finish Flintlock. He wants us to not spy on him anymore. Yeah, whatever. Unknown resource discovered. That's probably oil. I see some oil here. That's most likely it. Yep. Okay. Oh nice, we got more aluminum because our border expanded and that's eight. We will definitely improve that. Do we need another Inquisitor? Well, nope, we don't. Okay. 
How much is a courthouse again? I don't actually remember. Let's take a look. 820 gold. So we don't have enough right now. You know what? Let's annex this. We got enough. And we'll just buy a courthouse immediately. Here. Now we can build whatever we want. And we need a lot of things. First granary, because I don't want the city to starve. Obviously. Then monument, we can also buy a pagoda. That's always plus one happiness. Stoneworks, because that's production and happiness. Yeah, this city needs a lot of things. Shrine is only two turns. And plus one happiness. Uh, yeah, but first granary. Granary, shrine, no, granary, monument, shrine, stoneworks, then city walls, and we need workshops somewhere in there. And the Colosseum at some point. We need so many buildings in here. Better get started. Alright then. Next. Now we'll need some gold to upgrade our units. Oh, a Korean great spy destroyed 565 research and sabotaged wonder production, really. That's not very nice, Korea. Well, okay. We're about to finish Flintlock anyway. Come on, give me Flintlock. He entered modern era. Yeah, we should really conquer his capital war, because apparently he is still a threat. Means of preserving peace. But first we'll need to upgrade our units. Because he actually has riflemen, that's 34 combat strength. And line infantry is how much? 30. Yeah. Can we unlock any more units easily? We can unlock the field gun. That's probably worth considering. And then we can go for rifling. I also kind of want to get archaeology ASAP. And we should probably consider moving a spy to his capital. We can move a spy once we get a new one to replace the guy who got killed. Then we can send him to the Korean capital. Ideology adopted. Korea adopted order. So same as us. But I still want to conquer them. Yes, I'm aware the city is starving. It's fine. You'll get the granary on the next turn. Calm down. Okay, three turns to get Musician's Guild. And three turns for the city to grow. Looking good. Is anyone at war with anyone? Yeah, Harappa is still at war with France. But France... Is not steamrolling anymore. Well, they kind of are steamrolling. They are up to 27 cities. I wonder what their happiness is. We can't see just yet because they didn't adopt an ideology. We can see Korea's happiness. That's 38. There's the new spy. Let's send him to the Korean capital, if only to get visibility. There's the menagerie. Now we can get the grand bathhouse. Provides a free aqueduct in the city, newly founded cities. Well, that's not super useful, but it will give us plus two happiness and plus one culture. So I'll get it for that, if nothing else. We could also build it in a city that doesn't have an aqueduct. If we still have such cities. Do we? This one? Nope, this one has an aqueduct. I don't think we have cities without an aqueduct. That would be like this one. Yep, that might be the only one. Oh, hold on. Jongju. Yeah, this one doesn't have an aqueduct. We can build it here. But we need so many other things. I suppose we'll add it at the end of this queue. And the city walls should be a little bit higher, I think. In fact, I think the city walls should be next. Yeah, they really should. So, trade route again. Not to Korea. We can trade with France. For now. And menagerie is done. How about more units? So armory first. We don't need a stronger army. 
Looks like Napoleon has the biggest army right now. Okay then. We have the highest population. And we are also number one in production. Interesting. Uh, also, yeah, aluminum. Let's go improve that. Trade route. Let's just trade with the city-state. Maybe not that one. Because that's not exactly safe. Mombasa. Off you go. It's not starving anymore. How expensive is the upgrade? 110 gold. Well, this will take a little bit of time. That guy has cover too, so he will be priority. 200 gold to upgrade the crossbowman. Where's the crossbowman with plus one range? Let's see. Yeah, good question. Where the heck is he? This guy? Yep, that's the guy. He should get the upgrade first. Certainly. This guy has accuracy free, but no plus one range. Okay. So, anything else? We need more gold. But one thing at a time. There are still some trades we can make, but I don't think they will be very good. Bonjour. Napoleon is technically friendly. Let's sell some more horses. Oh, and also we can buy a luxury from him. Let's maybe do that. Bien sûr que non. He will give us a decent deal. La France he doesn't want iron anymore, but he does want horses. Here, that's a good deal in my book. Delegates. Ban luxury, marble. Okay. We are importing marble right now. Plus free culture for each wonder. Hey, I'm more than okay with that. We got quite a few wonders. Let's vote for that one. Culture is always useful. Speaking of culture, in 8 turns we'll get yet another social policy. Or tenet. There are some policies I'd like to get in rationalism. But I also want a lot of tenets. We have to balance that. Okay, so... Let's save for that crossbowman first. I wonder how much science per turn Korea is still getting. We can check how much science his capital is getting once our spy is established. And we can propose something. Let's check the result of the vote. So, cultural heritage sites passed, and luxury ban passed, as in marble ban passed. Okay. So, how about we propose... where is it? International games? It's not available, apparently. Oh, no civilization has researched radio yet. Fair enough. Hey, we could try world religion, but it's unlikely it would pass. Yeah, incredibly unlikely. Not impossible. Well... We can try to embargo someone. Like Napoleon, but he obviously won't like that too much. Maybe we should try world religion. Napoleon won't care about that. You know what, let's try. Why the heck not? Here. All right then. So... Production. That's a windmill. Now we can get hydro plants. That is a pretty good candidate for a hydro plant. Yeah, quite a lot of tiles that will benefit from it. Yep. Okay, I'm sure. 12 turns. It will take a while, but it's worth it. Our capital also needs a hydro plant badly. We'll have to hard build that one. Let's build it after the porcelain tower. We still got some wonders we can build, but I want that hydro plant ASAP. It will be so good in there. This is still in range, so trading post. That's the crossbowman that needs a promotion, or upgrade I mean. There we go, that's a skirmisher now. Lumber mill. Not much left to explore. Maybe this area. 
I don't expect to find anything over there, but who knows? Armory in four turns. How's that city doing? More growth. We need more population. That will do. Actually, no. The wheat. That's much better. And remove that guy. Here. Looks good. It will grow in five turns. And then... Market, seven turns. How about we get a workshop? We could maybe get a grand bathhouse here. Well, that's a possibility. It's not a bad idea. It won't take that long. Eight turns. Only one turn longer than the aqueduct. Yeah, sure, let's get that then. Maybe even before the workshop, because it will accelerate the city's growth. Yeah, before the workshop. It seems a little bit quiet right now, but... Don't worry, it won't be like that forever. <laughs> Certainly not. Okay, we will unlock the field gun in one turn. Hmm. I need an easy way to increase my income, because we still need a lot of gold for unit upgrades. And I don't want to wait too long before attacking Korea. Still, I don't want to fight riflemen with unupgraded units. We will need something better. We need to upgrade at least all of these. And we need gold for that. I could switch some cities to gold focus, because we do have quite a few trading posts. So that's an option. It's not a terrible option. Not this one, I want this one to grow. Uh, also, Musician's Guild. Here we go, and still food. That will do. Menagerie, public school. Let's maybe get a manor first. Yep. Great artist on the next turn. Speaking of which... Yeah, we need more slots for great works. There was one wonder in here. That's the one. We could really use that one, but... 18 turns? Maybe later. Do we even have an opera house in any city whatsoever? I don't think we do. So Tanala is our second top production city. Let's see if we can optimize production here a little bit. We also still need a workboat. Let's see, how much can we get? 68? I think I'll have to do it manually. Okay, hold on. Let me do this manually real quick. So first, the food. We need eight more. We need that workboat. Because that will be more food. That will be five instead of four. So this would be... Not enough. That one, this one, because that's one hammer. Then the iron, that's one food. Yeah, this will be fine once we get the work about. Okay, we got three more dudes. So obviously production. These tiles are not so amazing as far as production goes, but it's still our second top production city. So I'll take it here. 57. We can do better than that, I think. Yeah, these guys are only worth 2.8. Can we actually do better? No, I don't think we can do better than this. 57. And we will get a great engineer eventually. I'll probably use at least one great engineer for a great tile improvement. Let's keep it like this. That will be 57. 63. Okay, hold on. What if we just let the city do it itself? We need to get more than 57. I don't think so. 
No, it will not. 57 is the best we can do, unless we want to starve. Which we definitely don't. Okay. Here, that was it. Was it? Oh yeah, the mine. That's zero. Now we somehow have one extra food. Okay, good enough. It's 57. It's fine. Carry on. And armory is almost done. The city also has decent production, so we can get some more units. There's the artist. Do we keep him or do we extend the golden age? I think I'll just extend the golden age, although... I do want some great works. We could keep him, but we would have to keep him for a while. I'm not entirely convinced it's worth it. He'll be just sitting there for like the next 15 turns. Can't steal from France. That's fine. Korea is planning an attack. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We are also doing that. 205 gold to upgrade the cannon. Yeah, that's quite pricey. Anyway, a bank. We could use that. Can we get more production? 50. Well, yes, we can. 53. If I remove the scientists, then obviously I can. But I don't necessarily want to remove them. This will do. Unless... Okay, hold on. Here, 51. Not a huge difference, but hey, that's always slightly more production. That will do. Now, let's get some units, shall we? We are going to need more siege units, so field gun. Definitely need that. Plus one population in Koba. Amphitheater, four turns, and then I think we'll get an opera house. We still need an aqueduct in here, though. Yeah, we need so many things. And this is with the plus 25% production bonus to all buildings. I'm glad we picked that up. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.